Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Fabric 3. So today we are going to carry on with uh, Industrial Revolution's modular armour. Uh, so let's get started. So I have been able to get all of the recipes prepared for today. Let's have a look at this one here. So we can get to do the helmet. You'll see I've taken off all the other armour that I've got at the moment. We already made the chest plate here. We can make the leggings. And here we can make the, the boots. So we've got all of these four bits in here like this. Uh, yeah, this is the modular chest plate, which I've actually already installed into this, the three protection modules. Now, I have found a trick. Wait for them, wait for them, wait for the achievement to be a challenge to be accomplished and we'll, we'll carry on. You can actually automate this. I hadn't realised you could, but you can. So at the moment here, I have got a solar generator which is feeding this. In fact, the solar generator doesn't generate enough power quickly enough, so I've still got behind it the teleport generator here, giving it power. But what happens is this must be the front here. So from the, it goes from left to right, and here I've got a servo, and here I've got a chest. So what we can do with this, for example, I've got, and I've got everything turned off here except for this one, which we want to turn off the, because Get Off My Lawn has got a bug when you actually move uh, into the domain, you still get creative flight. Even though I'm in the area here, I'm still in the area, we get creative flight. But if I go out of the area, I've still got creative flight, which is not actually sometimes as helpful as I'd like it to be. Anyway, so here I've got a servo, nothing on the servo, it's just a straightforward, oops, didn't click the server, did I need an empty hand for that one? I guess I'm in the wrong place. So nothing here, just nothing's blacklisted uh, or whitelisted. So everything will go straight into here. And then you can change, pick a recipe. So for example, here we've got our recipes. And for example, I've got stuff already prepared for this. I've got two silver and I've got two steel plates somewhere. And maybe I didn't pick them out of the, out of the, from, the from here, let's have a look, steel plates. Steel plate's good. What you can do is you can come along here and select a recipe. And the one we're going to use, for example, in this particular case, let's have a look at the uses of silver plates, because in, in the modular crafting, we can make two different, well, three different things with silver plates, but we need two enriched alloys. So we can make night vision module, looting module, and efficiency module. Now I'm going to make the efficiency module. So we're going to select that one. We'll just select that one here if we can find it. Yes, we can. Good like that. So then you can come along here and put all of the ingredients that you need into here for that. So this and this and the two steel plates. And you'll see that they're getting taken in in the right order. And then they're going to get put into here and it's going to start processing. Um, on the right hand side of the mod crafting table I've got, it will come out <laughs> into here. And it doesn't show up, unfortunately. That's got me confused last time. Um, so look, how far is it done? There we go. As you can see, there's nothing in there, but it is actually in here. So we've actually got this module in here now. So what I was going to do, as I have put onto this gamer axe everything that you can take. So it's got three looting models, modules, one fire aspect module, uh, five efficiency modules, uh, and five sharpness modules. In fact, it's actually quite a weapon, this. We shall go and demonstrate that when it gets to night time. Um, here I've got the drill. One thing you can do with the drill, let me just sort my inventory out a bit. Let's put some of this, let's put some of this out of here like so we've got a bit more space because I'm going to run out of space fairly quickly. I can see. It's here I've got the module drill and some, I've got five range upgrades here, three fortune modules and a module drill with nothing in it. What you can actually do with this Let's do control shift click and that will take everything out of here. I've also got some more efficiency modules made up here and a silk touch module. What you can't do, however, is to actually un take modules out of here. So either I'm going to have three fortune modules, which is the ones I'm going to put in. So if I, I'm not sure whether the drill will actually go in. Oh, it does go in. So the drill is now in here, as you can see, in the right place. And then you can put in the module. So we can put the, the range modules in, first of all. And then the, we could put in the efficiency modules, let's just uh, like that. And you'll notice in here they're actually automatically being installed like this. Moment At the moment we've got none. Uh, and it will increase, so we're going to get range progress is 23%. So let's just take this over here and then put the rest of the into here and just leave it. And that will automatically put all of those modules into the drill here like this. The other 
I haven't been through the modules, but this one here is a portable charger. So this will allow you to charge up stuff. So you, all your armor, I think, needs charging up. So we can do that. Um, and the best place to do this is over here. So at the moment, we've got these uh, Lazuli Flux Containers Mark IV. So they have plenty of power. And I'm, I'm not sure whether I actually have to charge this up. Oh, yes, I can look. So you can charge this up. So it's got 250 LF per per item in here. Oops, I don't want that now. Do I? So that's one charged up. That's funny. I'm shift clicking and it's going into this bot into my offhand. That's weird, isn't it? So we could put those into here. Actually, we can shift click it in. That's no problem. So we can charge the, everything up in here fairly quickly. Uh, one of the things we have got for this is um, so we get protection. Let's put this actually. Let's put it on, and we get when this is actually finished here. We'll let this thing finish through. It's good. So, we've got one module installed, it's going to take quite a long time. So, while that's doing that, let's just do something else. So, oh, yes, I've got this axe, which has actually not got so much power in it. We're going to charge it up first, and then we're going to put the armor on, and we'll go and visit some mobs. Let's just charge it. Doesn't take very long, as you can see, already done. It doesn't take much power, but I think we can activate this. Uh, and I'm not sure if we can, if we have to shift right click it or anything like this, just to see whether it actually works. Portable charger, maybe not. Well, if I, no, it doesn't do anything. So let's go and visit some mobs over here. While I'm flying over, let's put the armor on that we've got. If I, oh, I see, it's actually doing something. I'm not quite sure. It is, tends to, that means it's using up power when it jumps up over here. So there's plenty of mobs over here like this. Let's get the axe and activate it. As you can see, it's now activated. So this is a one hit weapon, as you can see. And it's quite happy dealing with both. And they set them on fire like that. So it's very powerful, as you can see. Let's go along here and get this cre another creeper. I'm just thinking if there's anything, anything a little bit stronger than those mobs. The best one would be Enderman, wouldn't there? But I don't see any around. Let's press the mark off so we can see any in the mini-map. Let's press uh, shift and we should get... Oh, is it control? Oh, there's an Enderman somewhere below me. But I probably can't get to him. So I'll look around here. Well, the Z does a zoom. Yes, the Z does a zoom. So we should... Uh, no, I can't see anybody at the moment except for the one that's underground here. So that'll be hard to find, so I won't bother doing that one. So that's, that's it. So that's the... Oops. As you can see, I just fell down because I didn't fly. So right, let's go and wait down here and actually put some of the other modules into the into the armour. This is going to be a reasonably short episode, this one. I just picked up an egg, I think. That sounds right. And if I'm not mistaken, the power on this goes down all the time. Is it going down all the time? Yes, it's dropping down all the time. So you don't need to want this to be activated unless, unless you're actually using it. Um, and if we do this, and I've put them, and I'm selecting them, this, and it automatically straight away it charged up the game racks, as you saw. Yeah, maybe you didn't see, but it's now fully charged again. So if we right click it, as you can see, it's doing its movement, which means it's using that power. Yes, yeah, as you can see. So it's now 90%. So if I just select disable it and go to this one, you'll see it's full. And then we come back and have a look. Uh, oh, I don't want to do that. E. So I had 98%. In that few seconds, it actually used up some of that. So as you can see, oh, I've got a creeper banner. Um, I must have killed enough creepers now to get one of those. So as you can see, that's working just fine. So let's have a look. And we'll basically, I'm going to try put all of the modules in here. I'm probably not going to put all of this into this one because I'd probably like to do the armor first. But this has now got five range upgrades into this. We'll just take this out of here. Uh, and I'll remove the modules from here to start with. And take the one out of here and then we can get something done in the other armor pieces that we've got. So for example, here is other module pieces you can put into um, the helmet. All of these are helmet pieces. Well, Except for colour, of course, we haven't done colour yet. But it's got an auto feeder 
is a helmet one. Uh, uh, Night Vision's helmet. This one, the Piglin Tickler can go into any of the pieces. I, I'm not sure whether that one is sufficient or whether you have to put it into all four. Three protection modules, and two solar panels. And then with the solar panels, you can automatically charge stuff up with the charger module, which goes into the chest plate. Also does fire resistance module and um, Piglin. We've already got into that, the protection modules. So let's just, uh, I'll be back and we get a few seconds. I'm going to get some bits and pieces and put them into here. So I'll see you in a second. So now it's all installed in here. We've got all those different modules in here. So we can then simply put this back on again. Uh, and so everything's now going to get charged. So when I'm using the game act, it should automatically be charged from, from the chest pieces because it's got the charging module in it. In fact, you can see this is actually going down. I'm not sure why it's going down. <laughs> Hopefully, it's a bit awkward if it's going to be going down all the time because we'll have to go and spend all our time filling it up again. So let's come over here and see if we can take some damage. I have to wait till night time. Right, I shall be back in a second when it's night time. See you in a second. Well, night time will be here soon, but I thought I'd show you a few other things. Let's have a look at the armour. I've actually put into the headpiece, oh, that's the back side. Let's have a look at the front side. I've put, I've put onto the, um, the head, the helmet, some options. Let's have a look. We can press O. We can open up the user interface. So I've put in night vision. I've put in protection module and I've put in the piglin tickler module. So as you can see, the night vision actually has an effect. I'm not quite sure how you bind a key to these. I believe you can bind a key. So you can turn them on and off here like this, by pressing O. I've also put these modules into the chest plate, which we did last time, I think, no, this morning. But I haven't got any in the other items, but I have got them in the Gamer Axe. And as you can see, the Gamer Axe can turn fire aspect on and off, which is great, because look, quite often you don't want fire aspect. So I'm, I'm a bit interested as to what will happen if I try to do it with... Um, and this axe, by the way, is, looks quite nasty when you actually open it. <laughs> Let's open it, activate it, shift right, click it, and deactivate it. Uh, and as you may notice, that the uh, this is keeps decreasing. I'm not sure what it is. I've got mining fatigue and I've got malnourishment, as usual, because I've been doing other things and vegetables and fruit are a bit on the low side. I can probably get vegetables up a bit. But it's actually harder now because I can't uh, damage myself so easily. Let's put it back here. I can't damage myself so easily because I can't fall down. So if I come up here now and I take out my... Uh, actually, I actually haven't got it in, have I? Angel ring. Is, angel ring is here. It's disabled. <laughs> so I'm flying without it being disabled. And I'm out of range, I think. Um, if I'm not, I'm fairly closely to be out of range. Anyway, it doesn't. I don't fall down. So if I drop down now, I don't take any damage. So... That's how I was getting it, um, my health down, so to speak. Oh, yes, of course, it's night time. I've got the I've got the night vision on. So we'll check whether that's actually off. Makes a difference. Oh, yes, it does make a difference. Not too much, but um, in this case, quite a reasonable. Let's put that back on again. I expect that's going to use power. Um, oops. So we should see. The helmet reducing in its power as well. Yes, it's reducing its power. So if you don't need it, don't use it. Uh, I wonder if I thought you could bind a key to this somehow or other. Let's go up a bit and see if we can find any mobs. They should be spawning by now. Maybe it's because I'm too near. I don't know. Let's go. Anyway, let's go around and see if we can find some mobs. Ah, oh, there we got some down here. Like this. What I wanted to see next was to test the. Um, well, there's lots of creepers around here. That's not so great. Oops. <laughs> well, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, yes, well, that's fair enough. I wanted to take some damage, didn't I? See how effective the armour is. So let's just see if that happens. Oh, you're supposed to be hurting me. Not hurt. Go on, hurt me then. Go on, go on. Go on. Not hurting me. Let's go and find, let's go and find it. Um, the zombies are the best to test this with. Not creepers, they're not much use. For testing damage taking. I'm trying to test damage. I'm trying to test the armor, see how effective it is. I'll turn this off because it's jumping up and down actually makes me a bit um uh, don't like it. <laughs> I can't see any mobs, where are they all? So turn on the minimap. Oh there's a creeper right behind me there. Oh well. Did I take any damage? No, I didn't. Okay, fine. I want to find a zombie, don't I? There's one over here. There's a couple over here. 
Let's see what they do to us. Well, it doesn't seem to be doing too much damage. I'm not sure why. Okay. Interesting. That's the baby zombie, isn't it? Where has it gone to? Over there. Over there. Probably stuck in a hole. I thought it had got me by now. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. It's not not hurting me at all. Why not? Because I've got malnourishment and I'm not killing them in one hit. Well, I would do with the axe. Anyway, let's go back to base and I'll see you there. So, right, back at base. Uh, what I haven't tested yet is the colour modules. I've got some colour modules here. I've got a yellow colour module. And in this one here, we've got all of the different colour modules. I don't have enough of any particular... Well, I do have enough pink and green. So let's just try putting a yellow one. I've got four yellow ones in here. And then try putting that on something. Oh, I shall wait for this to finish, I think. So look what I've got now. Quite a few in modules. Now let's just take those out. I'll do control shift. Actually, that's... I'll leave that one in. The efficiency modules, I'll just put them in here, somewhere like that. Uh, so what I can do also is we can make a charging, st uh, a charge pad from Industrial Revolution. The recipe for that is four steel ingot plates, three enriched nickelite, nickelite ingots, and one lazulite flux container Mark IV and a Mark IV circuit. So it's fairly expensive in terms of this. And I've got all the bits ready. Um, I didn't put that one in for some reason. We can make a charge pad. Now this charge pad we should be able to just simply put beside, for example, let's put it beside this. I think it'll connect directly to the um, teleport generator. Let's just see if it works. No, it doesn't work. So it probably needs a cable. So let's just remove it. Uh, Industrial Revolution wrench. Okay, that works fine. Let's try it. Let's put it on this cable here, which is a Mark 1 cable. It's actually not very power. Mark, oh, that's item pipe. That won't work. I've got some around here. It's not ideal because it's going to get in the way of these, but we'll just do it temporarily here. Let's put it on this one. So that should... Oh, no, it's not charging up. I don't know why. Let's have a look. Maybe I have to put it on top of a pipe or something like that. Let's try that. It'll be a bit inconvenient if I have to do this. And that's connecting in. And you can see this is charging up. Fantastic. So let's test it. So at the moment, I've got 47% in here. Uh, the chest plate is still on and it's still using up power. So let's just press O. That opens up the module here and let's just see which one of these it is i suspect it's this charging module which is actually using the power up no nope, it's not it's still going down so let's just turn off all of the particular bits let's open oh, just turn them all off of the chest plate fire aspect uh fire protection and protection So now it's stopped. So I have to identify which one it is by putting them up again. So if we now stand on top of this, as I'm clicking at the teleport generator, I should be charging up. So if everything's charged up again, 47%. No. Ah, oh, this one is charging, as you can see. It's actually not that fast. But it is definitely charging up. So boots are fully charged, leggings are fully charged. They probably won't go down very much because of the we haven't put any modules in them yet. And the helmet is not quite fully charged. It is charging up slowly, as you can see. So right, so that's how you can do that. It's obviously in a bad place because it's interfering with, with my terminal crafting, uh, crafting table. So I'll move that later on, no big deal. So the other thing I'd like to look at was color, wasn't it? So we're just doing, waiting for the third one of these to be installed, it's got no power. Probably because of the charging pad here, which wants one million. Okay, I'm going to have to remove this. And I don't didn't want to, but it's something I'm going to do now. Oops, try again. There we go. So that should this allow this to continue. Well, it's using a lot more power than I was expecting it to use, as you can see. We could go and put that up here where I've got the, the other charges, so that might be better. So this is progressing, actually, it says break progress 1%. I'm not quite sure what that means. But it's progressing along. And it's got two fortune ones in here. So we, maybe I got a feeling we can turn fortune on and off when, once this is finished. I'm going to let that run through. 
that's the last one and while we're doing that let's just put the helmet into here with a color module so here i've got a color module for the helmet this is the one i wanted to put in here for the helmet oh it's also got the auto charging modules which solar panels might be also interesting so we can put this into here and it should get it won't get taken because it, you can't this is already filled up and i don't think it applies to the to the module drill anyway uh cannot be installed fantastic so let's get the helmet out of here and see what it looks like with a yellow with a yellow dye on it so i can i can move this out of here now and then i can simply put the helmet in this box it doesn't matter which way around i do this and you'll see that here it's now going to start putting the yellow color module i'm curious as to whether that actually works we'll, we'll see for soon to see let's have a look quick look at the drill now while we're doing this here um I have to press O, don't I, because to get the options going. So, so you can turn off the fortune module. Can you turn it? Oh, yes, it's got three, so you can make it whatever level you want it to do. Fantastic. And you've also got a range module, which you can also turn off. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, great. So I'm just waiting for this to charge up now. Let's have a look. It'll be a few seconds. I'll be back when it's when it's coloured. See you in a second. Okay, that's done. Let's take it out. Let's put it on. Let's have a look how it works. And where we're wearing it. Where's it gone to? So that's just got a yellow module in it. Uh, oh yes, it says colour. So we have to press five, do we? It doesn't look very colourful. To F. It doesn't look yellow to me at all. <laughs> I wonder what that means. I wonder if it's an option. Let's press an O. Uh, no, it's not an option. You can just. That's strange. It doesn't look very yellow. <laughs> right. Oh, there's a slight tinge of yellow on the side. So let's have another look from behind. Oh, I don't see much yellow on that one, do you? <laughs> anyway, so that's that. Well, I've now installed all the modules into all of the armour, including colour. So let's have a quick look at what I put yellow into every single piece. Let's have a quick look. Oh, there's a little bit of yellow on the leggings, but not very much. And there's a tiny, tiny bit on the chest plate. I don't see any on the helmet. Maybe those corners are yellow, I'm not sure. And the boots, I also don't see anything on. But we can have now look at the, the features that we've got. So we can turn things off and on. I recommend we put on solar panel all the time because it's going to keep things charged up. Um, the Pickle and Tickler module, that is... As we already know, it's really only used in the nether, so we we'll turn it off. Because if you leave any of these on, they will use power. And they use power continuously. So they, it's not just when they're in use, they just use power. So the protection module is fairly heavy in power, and obviously the night vision we don't need at the moment. So that's this one. We've got a, on the helmet, that's basically it. On the chest plate, we've got these charger modules, which will automatically charge up items in our uh, inventory. We've got the fire resistance module and the pickling tickler module. Again, that's the same thing. Right. On the leggings, we've got the same things, but we've also got a speed module. And this speed module is set actually to the maximum. Let's just turn it down. Like that. And you can see straight away, we're not going too fast. Okay. But you do get this auto type. Oh, no, you don't get even the auto jumping when it's turned off. Let's turn it back on now. And there's three levels of this. I keep pressing the Got to not remember not to press the inventory button. That's jump one, right? Leggings. So this is we've got three of these modules in, so we can put up to one level here. This is one third, and as you can see, already it's pretty fast, and we managed to jump over that hedge without even thinking about it. Okay, so the next level up. Again, I got to keep remembering to press the right button. So that's one third, two thirds of the of the maximum speed, and we're going really quite fast now. As you can see, whoa. So let's go now and put on the third. As you see, as you change it, your vision changes as well. So let's just pull this up to maximum speed. Now we are really moving fast. <laughs> and we've also got jump boost, and the jump boost is on the boots. So we can then jump up like that. And I think we jump up really high. Let's go and have a look how high we actually do jump up. So on the boots, we have jump boost. We've also got feather falling. I probably don't need feather falling because we've got feather falling because there's of the bugging. Get off my lawn. <laughs> so there we are. But we've got the jump boost module. And this has actually got, again, three three different levels. So we're at 100%. Let's go down, let's go down to zero. Okay. 
jump up. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Hold on a second, we really had a big jump for zero. That can't be right. Unless we're getting jump boost from something over here. So we'll run over out of the range of this thing, which is actually going to be quite hard because you've got to go quite a long way to get out of the range of this. Oops, it doesn't help running into trees, but it doesn't do any hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. Wow. Okay, I think we're possibly out of the range of the get off my lawn stuff, but we'll s soon see. So let's just try jump boosting now. Oh, yeah, that's better. So I'm not jumping up too high. As, no as normal, let's see if we can compare it to this tree. All right, let's go back and put the jump boost on the boots. Now, now that's first level, one third. Okay, that's jumping up fairly high, next one. Actually, that wasn't that much higher, was it? So two thirds. Ah, now we're starting really jumping up here. We're probably jumping up three blocks, I reckon. So let's do the last one of these and put it up to maximum. Oh, now that's a really big jump. Because easily jump onto, uh, onto a tree without thinking about it. Even this, even a reasonably large tree too, as you can see. Pretty, pretty big jumps. Wow. Okay. But I think that's possibly about it for the uh, for the armor. There's nothing else that's specifically difficult. Feather falling, piglin digging, protection piglin tickling and sorts of that. You can't bind a key to this. I was looking it up. The only thing you can bind a key to, if we go to it, have a look at what we can do, options, controls. And you come down here and you find the um, modular armor, I think. It's, under, it's either in the Industrial Revolution or modular armor. Here we go. The module item configuration and from industrial revolution. No, it's not. It's actually different. There's no there's no key binding to it. So I actually bound key O to it. Okay. Um, but the, there is some more bits and pieces that we should look at. Again, this is the drill. So on the drill, I put both silk touch and fortune. Uh, it's got efficiency five, and it's got this range module. Now the range module is a low, it's quite impressive actually. Let's have a look at it. So here's a good place to test it out. So at the moment we've got. Um, let's get this into my hand first of all. I was going to test something else, but we'll we we'll don't need to test that. So here, for example, we've got efficiency. Well, that's efficiency five, and you see, as you saw, this is coal, and it was picking up coal. Let's go back and open this up and then change this if from Silk Touch to Fortune and see what happens. How many pieces of coal? One, that's not brilliant. Oh, we've got seven. That. We've got six for that. I think that was just two pieces, wasn't it? What did we get this time? And another one. Or another three for that. So you're getting Fortune. As you see, as you can see, you've got both, both Fortune and silk touch on the same tool and all you have to do is turn it off and by default silk touch is the one that is used um but what is the now let's put on the range of this one this, the range is amazing so at the moment it's just on zero percent and it's got five it's actually got five of these so they go in 20 percent ranges now we'll put up to 100 percent range see what happens oh and as you can see, I've not got silk touch. I've got uh, I've got fortune on it, so we're getting we won't get any more cobblestone, of course, but we will get uh, more coal. As you can see, we've got more coal. Let's go back here. I actually generally prefer to have silk touch on my tools because then you can post process it as it were and put silk touch back again. <laughs> now, of course, this is going to be using up power like this, but in fact, this thing is fully charged, as you can see. But the power is coming. Most of it's coming from the auto, um, from the solar panels here. So that all of these things, as you can see, are char either charged up or charging up. Yeah, they're all charged up now. That's great. So that is basically most of the stuff. That, well, the, other, the other one was the game racks, but that was already maxed out. When I showed you that before. Oh, speed we're getting. Some... Oh, yes, we need to test out fire resistance. There should be some lava here, I think. So at the moment we haven't got any fire resistance on, but we have got a magma block. Okay, no protection from that one. I think that's in the chest plate, isn't it? So let's put the fire resistance on. Ah, oh, that doesn't seem to do much. 
protection from that one. I'm not quite sure if that makes any sense. Let's jump into this lava block over here. If I get in, of course. Well, making noises, as you can see, but I'm not actually on fire. Oh, I am a bit on fire, aren't I? Right, well, it's night time. <laughs> Ooh, I'm actually not doing very well. There's some water over here. Oh, I was actually taking quite a reasonable amount of damage there. Bit, bit late for the water, never mind. I suppose I could turn the protection modules on. Anyway, let's just quickly go back home and call it a day. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, next time we shall be doing something new, I guess. I'm not sure what yet. Anyway, until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.